everybody. I'm hoping this is recording. Uh, this is me, drunk white girl, making favorite Chinese dessert. Which is something like, uh, well, I'm not going to say it because I'm going to get it wrong. It's Zhongyan Tan Yuan. But I can't get the word for Ozymanthus right. So, anyway, step one, boil some water. Forget that you put it on and do some dishes and now it's boiling. Then you put your Tang Yuan in. This is what the package looks like. This is peanut filled. You can also get sesame filled. I like this better. Let's put let's put this many in. I don't know how many I grabbed. Four? I'm going to just like put them in my ladle and drop them in. Four doesn't look like very many. Stir them around. Let's make it five. Five for good luck. Okay, stir it. Then you put them in there. And they're frozen, so it'll take a minute, and then they'll boil again. And and then you can put these back in the freezer um, in a, like, plastic bag. That's what that looks like again. White pearls peanut rice ball. There's that. Stop. We have a problem in that I have one hand free with which to video a graph. Which is a thing. Let's pause for a second. Okay, back from being paused. Uh, so I I put those in the freezer. Now I'm going to stir this a little bit more. And um, in this bowl is a little bit of sugar. Not a lot. Here's the ozymanthus. Dried ozymanthus. And here's the jonyan. Um, it comes in the fridge section. So this is boiling again. So what we're going to do is put some non-boiling water in. How much? I don't know. Half a cup. Some amount. Now it's not boiling. Imagine that. Then you can stir it a little so they don't stick to the bottom. And I don't know why you do that. You do that because you saw it on some video. And they said cook them like you cook dumplings. And then that's when you learned that you're supposed to do this when you cook dumplings. Um, and, um, we're going to wait till this gets to the boil again, and then we're going to start doing stuff. So, I'm going to pause you again. Just unpausing to show we're still waiting. Still not boiling. They float when they're done, I think. But they're not there yet. Starting to boil. And they're starting to float. I'm going to take a little bit of this water, that much, precise amount, pour it in there. I'm going to set that back down carefully. Now we're going to stir this up to melt the sugar a little. Um, oh, move back to improve focus. Anyway, sugar's melted. Then uh, balls are floating. Then uh, pause real quick. Okay, unpause. To show, I opened the jonyan. It's this rice goo. We're going to put that in the bowl. We're not going to break it all up. And you put as much as you want. And maybe like more than you should because it's delicious. So you put that. And that's really too much. So put a little more. And that can go out of the way. Now our balls are floating. We're going to let them go for another minute or two. I could, if I wanted to make them go more, put more thingy, cold water. Right now we're sealing up our jonyan with our left hand, because we're left handed. We'll open up our ozymanthus. And we're going to just like bam some on there how much however much you feel like it bro like i don't know half a teaspoon quarter teaspoon and then more because you're like oh i don't know if that's enough and we'll just put a little bit more and now balls are still floating let's bring our bowl closer bowl balls then important step introduce balls to bowl along with some of the hot water 
Now, if you're making this in bigger batches, and really one person should not be eating five of these, but one person is a bit of a piggy, uh, then you can add, like, you do this different, and you put, like, egg, like, egg drop soup, and um, you can, like, thicken it a little. But anyway, there you go. Favorite Chinese dessert ready to nom on. So, I highly recommend that you make this yourself because it's just like five minutes or maybe ten. One very enthusiastic thumbs up.